Hi guys, welcome back to your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook channel. Um, today is Saturday, and I thought that I would um, break into one of these page kits that I have on deck and scrapbook a little bit tonight. Um, it's late. It's like quarter to 11, but I had a very busy day. Um, we had two parties to go to, which were semi-combined, and um, for one for the kid who has been staying with us at our graduation party. He graduated high school, and then another friend had a birthday, which is another friend of our kids, but um, all the adults that were at the party are friends as well. I mean, it's just kind of you kind of become friends with your kids' friends' parents over the years, and that's kind of what happened in this situation. We've just um, developed friendships with these people. So, um, yeah. But it's also been, like, an exasperating day. I would have to say not because of the kids or anything that they did or the guests or anything just um and nothing really happened today um that would make me feel like um upset um the only thing that could have like um, affected it was kind of like um, one of the friends that was at the the party. Um, I've known her for years and um, I hadn't seen her in a really, really long time. Um, but we were discussing, like she wanted to know more about Scott's situation and like that kind of stuff and she could relate because her and her husband went through something similar um years back and she was telling me what helped them and just you know and you know i kept it very vague because we were at a party i mean and you know but she was very open and honest about and her husband was right there. I mean, he he joined in on the conversation. Um, and my husband had left. He went to the party, but he had left um, to go to work. And so um, it just kind of, it kind of brought me down, but not like, it wasn't her fault. I don't blame her for, you know, it bringing me down. It's just. that this has been an emotional roller coaster for me and like sometimes things trigger me in ways that I don't expect or just even talking about it sometimes um is difficult for me um these pictures still crack me up these, this is when Hunter was two, and they just crack me up. Okay, so there's his eyes. This was back when, um, this was back when photography, like, you used, um, you used cameras, and I had this panoramic setting on my camera. And it must have been set to that because um, this is Matt right here. It's got to be Matt. I don't think it's Hunter. This is Hunter because he's got a pacifier in his mouth. That's Hunter. No, that's Matt, I would say. But they were taking pictures with my camera of my desk. And, um, gosh, it was like 2000, Hunter must have been, 
He wouldn't have even been two, I don't think. Because I think this is at the old house. I'm pretty sure this is at the old house. But it just cracks me up. Like, they're all blurry. and But I always saved them because it just cracked me up. But, like, it was back before people would, like, hack your... This was my scrapbook desk. It was a really big mess. It was back when I had, like, one one tiny space to scrapbook but I thought it was interesting because like we had a Tasmanian devil clock and this old mainframe or not mainframe but like box computer it's just neat to kind of like look at all the different all the things that we had on there that we don't even have anymore so strange all the clutter that's funny and then these selfies that they took of themselves <laughs> pre-selfie but <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what to scrapbook right now here's some cute Cub Scout pictures at the park a lot of Cub Scout pictures. Oh, I love that one. Maybe I'll do this. This is the Fall Festival. This is from Brandon. That was at Halloween time, though. Um, I think I'll do this one at the Fall Festival. McLean Fall Festival. So, this is Matthew, and he he's my son who got married in April. But he was only, gosh, he's got baby teeth there. He must have been only like six or seven. It was late to lose his baby teeth. So I think we'll do that on this yellow background, summer, even though it's fall festival, I'm going to put summer here because it was like school had just started, but, um, it was like the end of summer or maybe let's see what else I've got here. This says noteworthy. I don't really worry about that he's a boy and I just really like pink and red together. They're colors that I like together. Mothers help you spread your wings and fly. Happiness. Um, let me move these out of the way. Is there any washi tape that I want to use? It's a gray. What's this one say? Make today beautiful. That would be cute with that. You go, girl. Maybe if I tie in some blue, it'll look more boyish. That's coffee. Here's some red and blue. Life is better with friends. He had friends with him that day, but. So last night after I finished my video, um, I got a text from Jordan. Oh, I like this one. Hello, sunshine. Um, and she, um, I was just cleaning out like my mess from the video. Well, that would be cute. Yay, amazing. Because he won second place in the tractor pull. They have like a pedal tractor, kitty tractor pull. Oh, 
might work with this and it kind of blends in with this. We'll see. Right now I'm just going through embellishments and kind of looking to see what I've got. But um, those are cute, those marbles. Um, so she sent me a message and she said, I'm on my last can of formula for casein and um, and I've been I've been all over Clinton and um, they don't have any like there's no formula the kind he needs he drinks the gentle ease um, brand formula of Enfamil. And we have been, since there's been a formula shortage, we have been, like, switching him up to, um, like, we bought some Good Start brand, um, Nestle Good Start of the Gentle Formula. Um, we've had to because there just hasn't been anything available, um, for him, you know, and, and he, that's his main source of nutrition is formula and um so so last night she sent me a message and she said i i can't find any formula and we're on the last can of formula and um and she said can you run to the store and see if Walmart has any. And so I said, sure. And, um, I, um, so I went in the living room and I asked the boys if they wanted to come because I hadn't been out of the house all day. Well, since they got there, really, they, they, um, went to the movies Thursday night um, they went to see Jurassic World at the movies and, um, but that's like, they hadn't been outside the house since then. And all the boys, you know, they said, sure, they wanted to go to Walmart. So, um, I might use one of those. Although this color matches better. Yeah, maybe that one. Um, so they said yes, and, um, we went to Walmart and, um, I hadn't texted Jordan back, like, right away, because I, I had been filming and I didn't realize that she sent me a message until after the filming was over after I was done filming, because my phone didn't ding or anything. And, um, and I saw the, there was, um, I saw the message, and, um, so we went to, um, anyway, she, she ended up driving, she didn't care back for me, so she ended up driving to, um, here in town to look for formula, and I saw her at Walmart, so we, like, we're both, I met her at Walmart, <laughs> we're both looking for formula, and they did not have anything that he could drink, and so that was a bummer, um, but, um, we, um, the boys wanted to get something to eat for dinner because I usually don't buy anything until they decide what they want to eat. And, you know, when they have guests over, it's always fun and they like to cook their own stuff, you know, it's just fun for them to do that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't think I'm going to use butterflies. Okay. I'm going to work with this. So, um, I 
I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, they wanted Reuben fries was what they had decided on. That's a, a favorite of theirs. Um, where you take um, French fries and you cook the French fries in the oven first. And then um, you just take canned corned beef. And once the fries are crispy, then you cover it with corned beef and sauerkraut and Thousand Island dressing and then Swiss cheese on top. And then you put it back in the oven and it gets all melty and yummy. And, um, and so that's what they, that's what they wanted for dinner. And so I got that and I told Jordan, I said, do you want me to swing by IGA? Because we really only have two grocery stores in town that would sell formula. We do have an Aldi, but I don't think Aldi sells formula. And, um, so... I told the boys, I said, um, I told them I need to stop, swing by IGA and see what they have in baby formula before we go home. And they said, you know, that's fine, whatever. So we swung by um, IGA and they did have, they didn't have the exact formula that he takes, but they had, um, they had Enfamel, um, HA, I think it, or AH or HA or something, but it reduces spit up. And that's the reason why he's on that is because he spits up a lot. And, um, he's kind of a pukey baby. So, um, so it worked. Um, I mean, I found, I found like, there, they had like eight cans available and I didn't want to like hoard it because they really were picked over. Like they really didn't have hardly any formula at all either. Um, but they did have that, that brand that was supposed to prevent the pink can that was supposed to prevent spit up. And I sent Jordan a picture of it and I said, will this work? Because this is all they have that's like specialty formula other than the regular, you know, the Similac and the, you know, that kind of stuff. And she said, yeah, she said, get it as a last resort. So I got three cans because I didn't want to hoard it. And it's expensive stuff. But um, we went home and the boys started. Oh, before we went home, Ethan's like, I want to drive. I want to drive home. And I said, okay. So I let him drive home and he did fine. But this friend, he wanted to show his friend. His friend doesn't have his license yet either. They're kind of in the same boat. Um, License-wise. They're um, still practicing driving and all that stuff. And, um... I'm going to do like that. Might do some speckling on here. We'll see. We'll see what I feel like um, doing. So, um, so we went home and we, um, the boys wanted to make the, the Reuben nachos or Reuben fries or whatever. 
they're kind of like nachos, but, um, with French fries, <laughs> but we, um, no sooner had we gotten home and Jordan was pulling in the driveway because I had texted her and said that I found, you know, that I found three cans and she picked those up and she brought Hunter Domino's pizza. And I said, Hunter's working. And she said, I know. She said he's going to stop home and eat for lunch on lunch. And he asked me if I'd pick him up some pizza. And I said, oh, okay. And so then we we're talking about car seats and stuff. And, um, I've had a car seat, a brand new car seat in my car since we found out that, um, found out about Esme, but we've never used it because, um, you know, that whole situation with that. And, um, and so, um, they need it for, it's one of those ones that turns into a, um, a booster seat and it can, you know, it can revert back as well. It's like a convertible one. And, um, she needed an extra car seat for mini Jordan because, um, they need one for each car. They have, they have a one for, they have one for Kaysen for each car, but they don't have one for Mini Jordan for each car. And so I told her, you might as well take this home. And then, you know, if the situation with Esme, you know, um, if Esme turns out, you know, to need it, you can, you know, revert it because it would just be visitation anyway. Um, it wouldn't be like, it's not full custody. It would be joint custody. So, so, you know, they could just, whenever that weekend would roll around or whatever, they would be able to switch it for her so they could use it for her. But, um, so, um, so now they have another car seat, but, and then Hunter got to see, um, and talk to Brayden and, or not Brayden, um, Aiden and Drake a little bit too, before he had to go back to work because he hadn't been able to see them at all. But, and then the party was today, Aiden's graduation party. And so I was there and... I came home a little bit early just because I was, um, I was starting to get, I'm, I think I'm allergic to their cat. I have high sensitivity to certain kinds of cats. Um, not all cats, of course, cause we have a cat and for some reason tabbies, I am not highly allergic to. I, I don't know why. Um, and Siamese, I'm not highly allergic to but there are some breeds that I am just like and this cat was shedding all over the place you know and you know their cat lives there so I'm not gonna say anything about their cat you know but um I was feeling like allergic while I was at um their house so I I bowed out for staying very late because I was like I gotta get home and take some allergy medicine because I'm just like feeling not not so good and um and so I did I went I came home and Ethan stayed of course because he's spending their um Brayden's having a a sleepover tonight and they went to see Jurassic World again. So, um, so I left. None of the guys had their clothes with them when we let when they left for the party because the party was at one o'clock. So, um. 
so they stopped, swung by um, afterward, and I was literally falling asleep. I take that allergy medicine, and it just knocks me out. I'm very sensitive to medication, I think. And, um, yeah, it just was like, it knocked me out. I was, I was falling asleep and I was like, I gotta go lay down. So I texted them and I said, just come in the house when you get here and get the, get the boys' clothes and, um, I'm gonna go lay down because I, I'm tired. And they were like, okay, well, no later. Like, they had just, like, pulled in, like, a couple minutes later. So I was still up. And I got their clothes and all that jazz. And Ethan was like, I didn't know you left. And I was like, well, I couldn't find you. I was looking for you. And I couldn't find you. I figured you were having a good time. So I just, I just left. I knew you were staying. So and I knew the Cantrells were there. So I was like, you know, they're fine. And the Cantrells knew I left because I told them. But um, I think he had a good time. I think he's having a good time with his friends. He doesn't go many places. He's really a homebody kid. That just doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of friends because he's such a homebody and he's kind of like, he's kind of shy. Um, he's bold in some ways, like with hair color, but he's, he's also shy. He's really a shy and sensitive kid. Um, so... I just kind of let him be him. And I and I definitely would have told him I was leaving, but I I just wanted to get out of there as quickly as possible. <laughs> Cuz I was just feeling so uncomfortable with um from my allergies. And I'm using these scissors. These are my sewing scissors. Um, because last night when I was um, making my video, I must have packed away my good scrapbooking scissors in there. And I have two pairs of scrapbooking scissors, and I can't find either pair. So one pair got put away last night in something that I put away. I'm not sure exactly what what container it's in or um I tried to go through go back through the video and like see if I could see myself putting it somewhere like putting it in some container but it must have been afterward um that I did that because there was nothing <laughs> no footage of anything like that so that was not, that was not the best, <laughs> but I was like, I knew I wanted to scrapbook tonight and I was thinking, well, how, how are you going to do that with no scrapbooking scissors? And then I remembered I had my sharp little sewing scissors and I was like, well, I guess you're just going to have to do that until, um, you get a chance to find, you know, look for those. And I also ended up working a little bit today too, as well. Um, that needed to be done as well. I had a little bit of work that I needed to, well, I needed to check in with some people and so I did that and got that done. That only took about an hour. And um, and then I was just feeling really like down in the dumps. Just like, 
just dwelling on the conversation that I had with my friend and today earlier today and I was just like feeling really bad and I'm like what you need to do like some self something self-care you know to make yourself feel better and so I made myself a um latte um with my um, Nespresso machine and that brightened my spirits just a little bit. It's, it's just those little things that sometimes, you know, help you get through. It probably sounds silly that, um, that like a coffee drink or something like that would make you feel better. But, um, it does, like, it really, like, it's one of those, it's one of those, I have a list of things that, that I know, like, brighten my spirits. Um, just a little bit, you know, and that brightens my spirits. It's not something that I have every day because they tend to be, um, Pretty fattening <laughs> but um but I did that today because I just needed something this is not coming out I wonder if that's dried out I haven't had any problems with these drying out or getting plugged until just now. I don't know. What about this one? I haven't used these in a really long time. What about this one? You gonna work for me? Hmm. Well, apparently not. Let's see. Something else. Um, there's some of this tacky glue. Can't use this either. This one's not even open. I haven't even used that one. But I know that that's good because it's brand new. So tomorrow I'm hoping to the I'm try I'm hoping to finish the floor. I'm hoping to finish the master bathroom completely tomorrow. That's my goal. Um I don't know if it'll happen, but we'll see. We'll see if that works out. Scott is off tomorrow, so Maybe I can convince him to, to help me. I'm afraid we're going to have to buy another lawnmower. Um, he just is really hard on lawnmowers. He doesn't look for, he doesn't pick up very well, like sticks and rocks and stuff. In our yard before he starts mowing, he just goes over it. And um, he just really... I feel like we have to buy a new lawnmower every single year. So he doesn't buy the expensive brand of lawnmower because for the past several years, we've just had to buy a new lawnmower every year. And um, it's a little bit frustrating because I'm old school where, you know, you take care of your stuff and then it doesn't break and, and, you know, I would rather, like, I would rather go pick up rocks and stuff like that than have to replace, you know, things that, because you were careless and you didn't, 
you know. But it's just one of those things where, um, you know, it's the way you were raised. But he, you know, his lawn that he grew up with was, um, was less hilly and less rocky than our lawn is. So I don't think that he had an issue, but you know, that was, gosh, we've been married for 26 years. I mean, that was so long ago, it shouldn't even be an issue, you know. He's been married to me longer than he lived, you know, with his parents. So you would think that that would make a difference. But I don't know. I don't know. So I did get some explanations about some of the behavior that he was exhibiting that was bothering me, you know, worrisome or whatever. And um, Michelle was telling me that, um, like, his his forgetfulness and, like, um, where it almost feels, seems like dementia sometimes and it worries me, um, is, like, could be from his um, antidepressant medicine because that can cause, like, that kind of stuff. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that. So, and she also explained some other things that I didn't know. Like, she was telling me about, like, his problem. You know, we are talking about his problem. And she said that, um, or his addiction or whatever. And she said that, you know... If he searches for that kind of stuff on the internet, the algorithms will form, you know, to bring more of that to him, thinking that that's what he's interested in. And, and that could be part of the problem is that he's getting um, text from women based on algorithms that um, began... Um, from him searching for stuff on Instagram and um, and that's like giving like like an alcohol bottle to you know an alcoholic is you're just like when you know people are texting you and it's 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 one of the um It's definitely a downfall to, you know, like AI um, technology is the fact that they can, you know, that they've so, it has so much control over our lives. It's just, it's, it's heart wrenching, like what, how much control AI technology has over our lives. Like we're talking, we're joking kind of about um the other night when we were we were having some wine and just kind of chilling and relaxing we were talking about um how like i get these these ads um and they're absolutely disgusting and i'm not fat shaming at all on here um because i'm definitely not skinny at all um but they are I I do a lot of like research and stuff on like health and weight loss and and I belong to like a weight loss group and um you know and like every time I'm on there it's like the algorithm um forms this um 
thing that like, it's so weird. It's like, I get these really awful ads that are, um, they're inappropriate. They're these women that are like 500 pounds and they're like wearing bra and undies and like they're jumping up and down and like, and like their body is like flapping up and down or like they have this apron that like hangs down to their knees and just like, it's just, it's so inappropriate. It's just so inappropriate. And it happens every single time. Like I pull up something with weight loss or if I pull, like if I um, save something on Pinterest that is weight loss related or exercise related. I get these ads on Facebook and it's so, it's just, it's not what I want to see when I scroll through Facebook. So, um, so the very next day, this, she was saying that it's the algorithm that creates that because like they have a coffee business and they, um, they were talking, her and her husband were talking about something with the coffee business and like, like within five minutes, well, it was like coffee business in correlation with like heavy metal music because they're really into heavy metal music too. And so like this ad pulled up like that combined the two like automatically and it like totally freaked them out and I was like that too I was like and they were explaining it to me I was like that happens to me all the time like I'll say something about like um I could be like talking about paint or or like I was talking about the cove base adhesive that I had to order for the floor base and like all of a sudden like a million ads pop up for like remodeling supplies or like building supplies and it's just like I feel like they like it just feels very intrusive you know like if I want to look up something I will look it up. I'll search for it. I, I don't necessarily appreciate having like ads in my face all the time. And I think other people probably aren't very happy with that either. But um, I'm trying to think what I want to do like as far as like color wise because I feel like I need it needs like some glitter mist or something on here um i have this orange india ink there is some orange on here i don't know i have this glitter on here too that's orange ultra fine glitter think what I might do is just like sprinkle some of this and then like sprinkle glitter on top of it and see what happens. It's kind of an experiment here, but I need something to cover my photos. Um, generally I have some like throwaway thing. I am just gonna use the back of this Felicity Jane thing because it's not gonna because I don't want like paint or speckles on my photos so I'm gonna do this and I have never used this stuff before so it may turn out to be a complete disaster and a mess <laughs> but we'll see it's kind of thick whoa well that was a big clot
This is not what I expected. Um, maybe this dropper is not the right tool that I should use. Maybe a paintbrush would work better. Like, what if I did this? Oh yeah, there we go. I kind of wish that that big blotch wasn't there. Maybe I can cover it up. The paintbrush was what I should have used from the beginning, but... Okay, so that is going to be that right now. And then I'm going to sprinkle some glitter, I think, on some of this. And see if it sticks to the, to the blotches. Let me just take this off. So you can pour it back in. You don't waste it. Okay, so I'm gonna drop it all on this pad here. This So I'm going to have to let that dry and like put an embellishment here, like a big sticker to cover that because I'm not happy with how that blotched like that. I should have thought ahead before doing that, but that happens sometimes, you know, when you're creating and why I like this is you can just like bend it and pour it back like any extra, any excess. Pour it back in, even though half of it went on my page again. You can't win them all. Okay. So I like it other other than that big blotch. Um, I'll have to rinse that. Um, but I'm wondering, I'm afraid that that's going to be raised and um, cause a problem. So I'm going to take like a little of something in here that I could scrape it up with. Popsicle stick. That's really goopy. Wow. Just gonna throw that away. dry brush and kind of brush some of this off. There. So I think how I'm going to what I'm going to write on here is I'm going to put um, McLean Fall Festival. I'm 
gonna put September. It must have been like 2000, I'm thinking. Cause I know Hunter and Ethan weren't born yet. And then Kitty Tractor Pull. Someone's here. Someone tree climbing. Um, there. I think that looks good. And then I'm going to try to find a sticker and I'll show you tomorrow what that looks like. This needs to dry first though before I stick a sticker on it. Um, I may try to cover up this little blotch right there too um just because I don't really particularly I'm like those big blotches but um the one thing with scrapbooking is that you know what actually maybe I will use these butterflies and I may be able to stick them on before waiting until that dries this one I think would go nicely there and then to cover up the big one this blue one right there and then I feel like it needs another one um, like a small one. Big one right there. I like how that turned out. Pretty simple, but, um, yeah, it definitely covered up that blotch. So when you make a mistake, don't feel intimidated like your, your project is ruined. Just try to find an embellishment that will cover it up and you really can't tell that there was ever a mistake made at all so but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you found it helpful and um I don't know if I'll have time to to strap up tomorrow or not but it's definitely fun to get back into the groove of you know, having, playing with my supplies and breaking open a new page kit and getting some scrapbooking done. Um, I'm just going to leave it sitting here overnight. Um, so this, um, India ink can dry. I don't know how long it takes to dry. It doesn't really say. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably overnight. Most things I find if I leave it overnight, that's good. So, but I thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.